Welcome back. Now let's take a look at sports. Here's Barong Tony Oranta. Thank you, Ijoma, and welcome to Sports News. Nigeria Super Eagles are through to the semi-finals of the Waffle Cup of Nations after beating Ghana 2-0 in their last Group A clash. Following a goalless ha first half with new goal scoring chances, Lobby star striker Anthony Okotu broke the deadlock in the 52nd minute. Peter Neji added a sick reckon three minutes later and Nigeria held on for a crucial win which ensured qualification for the last four. The Minister of Youth and Sports, Solomon Long, says only athletes below 15 years of age will henceforth be allowed to take part in the National Youth Games. He said the new rule is to ensure that the objectives of the competition are achieved and reduce age cheats. Delta won the third National Youth Games with a total of 60 medals comprising 21 gold, 16 silver and 23 bronze. And elsewhere, former England captain Wayne Rooney has been banned from driving for two years after pleading guilty to drinking under the influence. Driving under the influence, rather. The Everton forward has also handed a 12-month community order and 100 hours of unpaid work after appearing at Stockport Magistrates Court. The 31-year-old was almost three times the legal limit of 35 milligrams of micrograms of 100 milliliters of breath at the time of his arrest. And Bayern Munich goalkeeper Manuel Neuer has been ruled out of Tuesday's trip to Schalke with a foot injury. Neuer injured his left foot in training and will undergo a final scan tomorrow to determine the extent of the damage. Neuer missed a near run into last season with a broken metatarsal in the same foot suffered during Bayern's Champions League defeat to Real Madrid. And finally, Israel will host the three opening stages of next year's Giro d'Italia, the first time a cycling classic race will be held outside of Europe. The 101st edition of the Giro will open with a 10.1 kilometer individual time trial on the May 4th in Jerusalem, followed by road races between Haifa and Tel Aviv, as well as Beersheba and Eilat. The Giro, along with the Tour de France and Spain's Ruleta, are the world's three major cycling tours. And that's it on Sports News for tonight. I'm Byron Tony Rantani. John, I'll be back with the back. Thanks a lot, Baron. North Korea is warning against the thought of any possible sanctions by the United Nations as it would only be inspired to accelerate its nuclear program. The message was contained in a strongly worded statement broadcast by the country's official news agency. It said that the goal of the new UN sanctions approved on September the 11th was aimed at physically exterminating the North Korean people, system and government. The sanctions are an attempt to starve North Korea of fuel and income for its weapons programs and restrict oil imports and ban textile exports. North Korea fired its sixth and most powerful nuclear test over Japan on Friday, putting the U.S. Pacific Territory of Guam within reach. U.S. President Donald Trump says the United Nations is not living up to its potential and needs to focus more on people and less on bureaucracy. He was addressing a special meeting attended by 120 countries after signing a U.S. drafted 10-point political declaration. It's not the first time Trump has criticized the U.N. While as a candidate for the presidency of the United States, he spoke of the U.N.'s utter weakness and incompetence. While the United Nations on a regular budget has increased by 140 percent and its staff has more than doubled since 2000, we are not seeing the results in line with this investment. But I know that under the Secretary General, that's changing and it's changing fast and we've seen it. That's why we commend the Secretary General and his call for the United Nations to focus more on people and less on bureaucracy. We seek a United Nations that regains the trust of the people around the world. In order to achieve this, the United Nations must hold every level of management accountable, protect whistleblowers, and focus on results rather than on process. Hurricane Maria has been upgraded to a Category 3 hurricane and is coming closer to the Leeward Islands in the Caribbean. Hurricane warnings have been issued for Guadeloupe, Dominica and Martinique. However, a hurricane watch is already in effect in Puerto Rico and the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. These islands are still recovering from Hurricane Irma, the Category 5 hurricane that left destruction and death in its wake. The Eye of Maria is set to be 100 miles east of Martinique at the moment and is moving northwest 
at about 13 miles per hour. And the main news again, the Academic Staff Union of Universities today announced the conditional suspension of its one month old industrial action. Lecturers have been asked to return to classes tomorrow. Also, President Muhammad al-Buhari will address the world leaders for the third time at the ongoing United Nations General Assembly tomorrow. And North Korea today defied the United Nations, insisting it would continue its nuclear program despite sanctions by the world body. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Ijoma Onyato. Have a good night.